contest tool I'm about to show you was developed as part of the WordPress for Toastmasters project and originally set up to be used as part of a club website. But if you're trying to use it on the area division or district level, independent of that, you want to use it independent of a club website, this contest.toastmos.org site has been set up to allow you to do that. Now, if you previously established a toastmos.org password, you can use that to log in. Uh, assuming you didn't, you would go to this register and account page. You do have to sign up for this mailing list so that I can stay in touch with you. So that shows that I'm now signed up. I can go back here then and I need to verify that subscription. Okay. Now the system has recognized that I'm, I'm signed up for the mailing list uh, and all I need to do is put in uh, my name And it tells me that I should go to the set reset password page to set up my password. So I will do that. I will put in the email address that I'm using for this. And it's going to email me. <laughs> Here it's popping up my email address. Um, but here's that password reset message. So what I'm going to do is click on this. And it's going to give me a strong password. And if you want your if you're going to be the contest administrator, you want that to be secure. So try and use a reasonably strong password. I do remember you recommend using a password manager such as LastPass. Or at a minimum, you know, copy this someplace uh, and hold on to it. So once I've gotten that to work, I get logged in and I, I get a welcome message that is is really oriented towards users of the contest website setup, but uh, from this back scenes thing, actually there's some documentation here that says here's how you na navigate to the front end of the website. So we want to get back out there where that form is going to be waiting for us, allowing us to go ahead and set up a club or area contest. So let's say this is Division Z, International Speech Contest. March 30th, and we create that account. Now again, we're creating this outside the context of a club website where members would already have accounts. So you can put in uh, names and email addresses here. So you put in your judges, typically. You can go back and add more of these later, but we're just trying to get the first batch of men. You can designate who's going to be your tie-breaking judge. You can also set up uh, dashboard user accounts. Those are people who should have access to the scoring dashboard where the results roll in. That would typically be your chief judge, contest master, and vote counters. Once you've got a good starter batch anyways of those, you go down here, you click Submit. 
it will say that these accounts are created. We don't have the contestants set up yet. And so there are links that you can now email out to each of the participants. And when you set up that user account, they actually got an email inviting them to set a password and including this link. But you can also send it out manually with a note thanking them for their participation. Uh, you can send it to, to them as a reminder uh, if they forgot. Uh, and the other reason that these, these judging links are here is so that if somebody is unable to vote through the online system for whatever reason, uh, you can go in and do it for them. So you can go in to the scoring dashboard. Now, right now it's showing as the contestant order has not yet been set. We haven't even put in our, the names of our contestants, so we, we're not seeing too much there. All right, so we can just put in the name of our contestants. Now there's a checkbox here where we can record this as the official speaking order now or later. So that would be if you're drawing, drawing for the speaking order in the traditional way, but I'll show you there's a way you can get the computer system to randomize the list as well. So we see that those usernames are in here as judges. We could change who's going to be the tie-breaking judge from this screen, and we could add additional dashboard users if we need to. All right, we'll update this. So now we have the contestants in the system. And there's a little prompt here that says the randomized speaking order has not been set. So instead of drawing lots, doing it online, it helps to just have the computer randomize things. So now these, the speaking order is different than the order in which we originally entered those speaker names. And if we go over here now, we'll see that we have the whole judging form. And it's laid out in the speaking order that we've established as they go through and put in their scores. The system will help them with the math. Uh, and I have a longer, or I have more of a marketing demo that shows how, how all this works. So in addition to the links for all the judges, we also have a link for the timer. And again, this is a separate dashboard. It actually has a function where you can do on-screen green, yellow, and red signals as the time goes on. But we'll see that the speakers' names are actually already in here in the order. So if we use the interactive timer here, as soon as we stop, it will show what their time was. And because Danny DeVito only spoke for five seconds, he's disqualified. That that didn't make the minimum time. So the, you know this can can be useful. There is a way of showing it on screen, uh, but it's a little bit complicated. Uh, I've done it using software called the um, OBS Studio for Open Broadcasting System. It's a, a streaming tool, uh, but even if you just use a stopwatch or and you use timer cards or use some other system to track and show the lights, you can still enter the times in here manually. And so the timer would make sure that this is all complete. Uh, the system will try and automatically disqualify anybody who was over or under the, the limits. Um, but ultimately, just as with the judging, the timer makes the decision and decides to submit those times, OK? Once you have it all set up, the process of using the tools should look something like this for the judges, where they can go through, make their choices, 
of how to score based on each measure in the rubric. Once they're done, they can have the system automatically rank the scores for the different speakers. The judge still decides who gets one, two, or three, breaking any ties along the way. Checks a box to say this is my official vote, so that's the equivalent of signing the paper form. This does also work on mobile. So this is what it would look like, or what my camcoder shows it looks like on Android. And then on the judges dashboard, you can watch as the judges votes roll in. And here we see all judges have now voted. The timers report is in and we see who won.